Petlands Critter Care is brought to you in part by Natural Balance Pet Foods. Hi, welcome to Petlands Critter Care. I'm pet guy Robert Church. Today we're talking about uh, pet dental health and how to brush your pet's teeth and a little bit on some of the things that you can, or your pet, I guess, can chew on to, to keep their teeth healthy. It's a big problem. If a pet gets mouth pain, it can really, really affect their quality of life and most pets get some sort of dental deterioration at some point in their life, so we want to minimize it as much as we can. And then later on, you're going to get your veterinarian to, to you know, do a complete dental cleaning and stuff, but you can put that off for a while by doing proper uh, tooth brushing. And, uh, and Ray, our behavior consultant here today, is going to show us some of the tips and tricks to getting your dog to have cleaner teeth and fresher breath. And a whiter smile, I guess. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> What we do, in addition to uh, proper toys for your dog and proper chew items for your dog, what we talk about now is brushing your dog's teeth. And there are all kinds of toothpaste on the market. Uh, Robert will talk about those. But what I want to show you on there is we use finger toothbrushes. There are different kinds and varieties on the market. All of them are very acceptable. What we do with my little friend here is we just flip them over. And with the toothbrush, we just want to get the toothbrush into the mouth. And the nice thing about the finger brushes is we don't have to worry about pushing it where it's not wanted and we can just take and brush it back and forth like that. Little circles, the same as you do your own teeth on the outside of the teeth only. We don't have to brush on the inside of the mouth and we just work it all around on the puppy. To get the puppy used to it, just take the toothbrush off and even after each time you brush their teeth, just take and massage inside their mouth with your finger. They'll learn to really enjoy that and also what it'll tell you is you can pick out any sticky spots in there, anywhere where there's tartar built up on the outside of the teeth. So uh, you want to use a proper pet uh, toothpaste as well. It's enzymatic or uh, enzyme-based, an enzymatic toothpaste, as opposed to people toothpaste, which has uh, you know fluoride in it, and the pet's going to swallow it. So you can usually get beef or liver flavor toothpaste. You'll never get them mixed up with your own, which is nice. But dental care for your pets is very, very important. A couple other things, if you've got a big dog, Make sure you've got stuff to, for them to chew on. Ah, 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 they chew on, it gets, cleans the outside of their teeth and it stimulates their gums. And that's where we run into problems is that line right along the, the teeth where the, where the gums meet the teeth. So lots of different things. Rope bones for little dogs, you can soak them in water or chicken broth and freeze them. And it's great for little puppies that are teething. Um, and uh, again, the, the little nubbly bones just stimulates the gums. Healthy gums also uh, help keep the teeth nice and healthy. And uh, anything that is going to dig in and get in along that gum line. So lots of things you can do to keep your pet's dental health uh, up to date. I'm Robert Church. We'll see you next week on Petlands Critter Care. Petlands Critter Care is brought to you in part by Natural Balance Pet Foods.